What are the things to be noticed about the remembrance of Allah? 1. Remembrance of Allah is the foundation of worship. It connects worshippers with Allah in all situations and times. Aisha, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, said, Allah's Messenger, may peace be upon him, always remembered Allah. This relationship with Allah is life. Nearness to Him is success and contentment and distance from misguidance and calamity. 2. Remembrance of Allah separates the servant from the hypocrites. Because one of the characteristics of the hypocrites is that they remember Allah very little. Remember Allah very little. 3. Satan cannot prevail over the servants unless they are heedless of the remembrance of Allah. Remembering Allah is like a shield. 4. Zikr is the means of happiness for the servant. Surely the heart finds peace in the remembrance of Allah. 5. Always remember Allah. The servant will have no regrets in paradise except for the time in this world that he spent without the remembrance of Allah. 6. Allah remembers the person who remembers Allah. Remember me, I will remember you. A person is very happy when he is informed that rulers have discussed him in their gatherings and praised him. So what should happen if Allah, the Lord of the worlds, remembers him in a better assembly than this? 7. Remembrance of Allah does not mean uttering two single words, while the heart is indifferent to what it is saying, and the mind is indifferent to the greatness and obedience of Allah. So to remember by the tongue undoubtedly includes attending to it, attending to the meaning. Remember Allah within yourselves, humbly and fearfully and not loudly, morning and evening, and do not be among those who are heedless. Always thinking about the blessings of Allah, as the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, Think about the blessings of Allah and do not think about Allah. Do not think about Allah, that is, do not think about things that cannot be understood by humans, such as the nature of the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, etc.